Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 551. VQ Mismatch. What does VQ stand for? V stands for ventilation and Q stands for perfusion. Ideally, ventilation is matched to perfusion in order for adequate gas exchange to occur. Therefore, in ideal situation, the VQ ratio would be 1. What is the VQ ratio in an average individual? An average individual has 4 liters of ventilation for 5 liters of blood flow. Therefore, their VQ ratio is 0 0.8. Describe the ventilation perfusion ratios in different parts of the lung. Different zones of the lung have different ventilation perfusion ratios. The reason for this is due to gravity. So, in the apex of the lung, there is higher ventilation and low perfusion. This leads to a higher VQ mismatch, and this is why it's said that there is wasted ventilation in the apex of the lung. The base of the lung, due to gravity, will have a higher perfusion and a lower ventilation. The reason for this is because blood weighs more than air does. So, therefore, the base will have higher perfusion and lower ventilation. Therefore, the VQ mismatch is going to be lower. And because there is high perfusion and low ventilation, this is said to have wasted perfusion. So even though with these higher and lower ratios, both ventilation and perfusion are greater at the base of the lung than at the apex of the lung. What situation will cause the VQ mismatch at the apex of the lung to be closest to 1? VQ mismatch at the apex of the lung gets the closest to 1 during exercise because in exercise there is going to be an increase in cardiac output and this causes vasodilation in the capillaries of the apex leading to a higher perfusion therefore the ventilation perfusion ratio is closest to 1. Why do some organisms prefer the apex of the lung? As we mentioned the apex of the lung has high oxygen content because it has a higher ventilation perfusion ratio Therefore, certain organisms such as TB will prefer this area. When does ventilation perfusion ratio equal zero? Ventilation perfusion ratio equals zero if you have no ventilation. So it does not matter how much perfusion you have, even if you have 100% perfusion, if you divide zero by 100, your answer is zero. So your ventilation perfusion ratio would be zero in cases of airway obstruction where you're not able to breathe in air. When does ventilation perfusion ratio approach infinity? Your ventilation perfusion ratio approaches infinity if you have normal ventilation but you have a blockade in your perfusion. This would sort of be like dividing 100 by 0 and you can't divide by 0 so it would be approaching infinity. Name a condition that would lead to this VQ mismatch approaching infinity. VQ mismatch approaches infinity when you have some sort of blockade in the blood flow to the lung and this happens with pulmonary embolism. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.